Hey guys, welcome to your uh, general reading, your energy check-in for Virgo. This is going to be for your November, second half of your November from the 16th to 30th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we are going to take a look and see what messages we have for you guys, what your overall energies are during this time. Apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to uh, book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. Anyone interested in wanting to uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. So Virgo, what messages do we have for, for Virgo? Tell me about Virgo here. Tell me about Virgo. Energy check-in for Virgo for the second half of their November from the 16th to 30th for Virgo. So we have the Hermit, Ten of Wands, the Empress, Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords here. Okay. This is your energy right here. Seems like you guys are definitely doing a lot of introspection, self-reflection here. Also releasing any sort of burden, trauma, pain, hurt that you've been that you have experienced here, that you've been holding on to. I feel like you're letting it go. You're letting it all go here, okay? Some of you guys are going through some sort of major release here. The Empress, Libra Taurus, the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and also we have the Knight of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? So what we have here is that you guys are definitely in this energy of master manifesting what you want at this time here, okay? Basically, chasing new goals, going for what you want here, especially especially when it comes to your career and your finances at this time here. So, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely, you know, in this energy of really going for what you want, what your goals are. Perhaps your goals are to move towards kind of like, uh, the higher the uh, the higher tier in your career ladder. Does that make sense? Okay. The Hermit. And the Five of Cups. Tell me the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? And also the Wheel of Fortune here. Seems like your luck, your fortune is changing at this time. Could it also be the karmic wheel is turning in your favor? Like your karma is balancing out here. It seems like a lot of things are being washed away or a lot of things are being cleared out at this time here for you. The uh, Empress, why is the Empress here? The Empress. And we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. With the Queen of Swords here and the uh, Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords here, and the Knight of Swords and the Star card. Okay. Some of you guys could be realizing your calling here too. Yeah. Some of you guys are definitely, you know, connecting with the Divine very strongly at this time. Also with the Seven of Swords here, I just feel like you guys are in this energy of protecting your energies or that you guys are no longer sabotaging yourself here. Now, this could be an indication also with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles here. Someone here could also be sneaking back into your life here at this time. Okay, what else do we have here for Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Look out for or work on for November 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. This could be an any replacements here. Like I said, this is an energy check in you guys. Ten of Swords here and the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Four of Pentacles here and the Six of Cups. Interesting. There is someone here that is having a hard time letting go of the past here. Letting go of you. Someone here that has betrayed you, let you down here. This could have led you down the path of your spiritual healing here. Okay. Yeah, seems like there could be a situation regarding a relationship that has sparked this here, you know. So the Ten of Cups here and also the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, it seems like someone here is definitely coming back around because someone here is seeing you as their North Star here. Someone here is just, I would say that this person is chasing you. Okay, but I feel like you're keeping your distance from this person and that you're staying away from this person at this time here. 
okay? They do want to rekindle a relationship here with you, uh, 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 Virgo, okay? The Ten of Swords. And we have the Magician, Gemini Virgo. Okay, there you are right there. The Queen of Pentacles and also the Two of Wands here. Mm. It does seem like somebody is trying to manifest you back. I do feel like somebody here is also getting rid of the other options here to be with you, okay? But, you know, this could also be an indication that, you know, Virgo, when it comes to the situation, you're deciding not to give this, uh, give this anymore. You know, I just feel like there's a sense of moving forward here. Or that it's taking a lot of willpower for you to not even communicate with this person at this time here. And just kind of like sit with yourself and just do you. All right. The Six of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's some here that's coming back around with an apology. Yeah, some of you are coming back around with an apology. Whoever this is, this person definitely dropped the ball on you here. But I feel like since you left the situation, since you, since you left this connection here, things have completely changed here for you in a much positive way here. So for you guys to go back to this, I really don't see that happening. You know, with the Ace of Swords here, you know, this could be an indication that, you know, you're feeling victorious by cutting the situation out, you know, moving towards a new beginning here, okay? But also, you know, some here might be wanting to provide you with clarity here, okay? Uh, you know, to tell you the truth about how they feel and what they want, what their intentions are towards you are. But with the Two of Swords, yeah, you could be completely blocking this person out. With the Death card here, there is no reconciliation. There is no coming back together here. You yourself have grown and changed as a person here. Okay, so the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy, Three of Cups, and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. Okay, what else do we have here? Five of Wands. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're totally walking away from the drama here. You're walking away from the drama for good. Okay, and I do, do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person definitely has a huge fear of losing you here or losing this relationship. Okay, so yeah, some here is definitely fearing that this is over. Yeah, some here is fearing that this is over. And I feel like some here is definitely begging for another chance here. Like if you don't communicate with them, I feel like this person is trying to sell, send you messages telepathically here to not to leave them or move on without them. All right, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.